welcome back. This time we are going to look at our next question, which is, how did the universe begin? That's a fair question. And we're going to look at it from a couple of different angles. So let's start with one scientific view. And that view is that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. It goes back to an incident called the Big Bang or the Big Bang Theory. And the theory goes that um, today we have the universe, it's expanding. So if we just take it backwards from the expansion, it's going to go back all the way to a single point. And then at that single point, that's when the universe began, all the physical matter and energy. And before that point in time, we can't see any further back. So based purely on science, the universe, the physical universe, had a beginning point. Now let's take a look at another way, which is really a thought experiment. Um, you probably have heard it before. If not, that's okay. Take an example of this desk. Uh, did this desk create itself? And obviously the answer is no. There was something that came before this desk, uh, whether it was the tree that was used for the materials or the person that formed that wood into a desk. So we have something that came before it. And so if we look at that tree or we look at that person, we know that something came before them, their parent or the tree seed before the tree. Um, and so if we take a look at people, for example, we keep going back um, through a line of ancestry and we can see that there's always one before the other. Now there's different theories on like how humans came to where they are today, but eventually you get back to a point where the first two people and before that the world and then before that you had the sky, the stars, the sun, matter, and then eventually you can't just keep going back forever. It just doesn't make sense. If we look at physics, everything in motion has to be put into motion first. So it doesn't make sense for just matter or the physical universe to just always be in constant motion forever. It just, there's no model that we can see that. So we don't actually pick a model that doesn't make any sense. We have no evidence for it. So, um, so for example, in nature, there's no such thing as a perpetual motion machine. If we never see that in our world, we can't make the conclusion that the universe is just a perpetual motion machine and has no beginning and end. So it's not logical, has no scientific proof behind it. For all intensive purposes, we look at physics and our own thought experiment, there has to be a beginning to the universe. It can't go back forever. And um, so our thought experiment and science also comes to the same conclusion that it began at a single point. Now, why is that important? It's because that makes sense with the idea of God. If you look at Christian point of view, that's exactly what the Bible says is that everything came from a point. And so God was there. He can actually create the physical world. He's all powerful, all knowing. And so he can create whatever he wants, including the universe. And so we're inside the universe. We can only see what's in the universe. And, but we can detect that there was a beginning. And that actually makes sense and um, is in sync with what we believe about God. So just by looking at the question, how did the universe begin? We can actually see or conclude that God was there in the beginning. And that's just a reasonable explanation. It would actually be unreasonable for someone who is like a scientist to say, 
well, we believe in science all the time, except when it all proves that there was a beginning point at the Big Bang. Well, all of a sudden, no, we don't believe that. We just believe that the universe just kept going on its own. See, that's just faith without reason. Um, so um, if we're going to use science, then just be consistent wherever it leads to. Now, if you're a believer of faith, you know, we're not totally reliant on scientific theory either. So the Big Bang, we're not putting all our marbles in it and uh, saying it has to be that way. Um, so, for example, let's say some people have speculated this idea of the multiverse, where there's multiple universes come and go, come and go. Um, but in the future, let's say there was some proof of that. Well, you still have the question, well, how does the first multiverse get started in order to create the others? Um, so it doesn't really hurt our faith at all. If the Big Bang itself was proven not to be true, it doesn't hurt us. Uh, but for what we know right now, it, it lines up very well with what we believe. So, yes, how did the universe begin? Another indication to help us believe in God. Thank you for listening, and um, we'll see you for the next question.